Good afternoon and welcome to the Red Chamber of the Nigerian National Assembly, known as the Senate. My name is David Chedezi Today, the 1st of November, Wednesday, 1st of November, 2023. In our program, bringing the legislature closer to the people, we are using this channel to bring you day-to-day -day activities of the Nigerian National Assembly, particularly the Red Chambers, the Senate. But today, we are going to share, like we did yesterday, the other paper as the list of businesses the Senate is going to do today. The other paper, as you may know, is the paper that contains the item by item the agenda list, I call it the agenda list. So today, in the other paper of the Red Chamber, business of the day, we have five views listed for the presentation today. And these five views are all coming for first reading. The first view is a Code of Conduct Bureau Act Repeal and Reenactment Bill 2023 SP 148, first reading, standing in the name of Senator Kakashiro Law, Burundi Central. Second view for today Federal Orthopedic Hospitals Act Amendment Bill 2023 SB 219, first reading, standing in the name of Senator Father Hussey. Adeniva Francis, Ocean East. Third view for today is the Federal University of Education teaching the Federal University of Education Technica, Gombe, Establishment View 2023, SB 221, first reading, standing in the name of Senator Belkongo Ibrahim Hassan, Gombe North. Hot business of the day, hot view for today is the Federal University Benin KB Establishment Bill 2023 SB 224. First reading, standing in the name of Senator Alero Adamu Mohammed Mainasa KB Central. The last view for today. Is the National Agricultural Land Development Authority Act Amendment Bill 2023 SB 225? First reading, standing in the name of Senator Salir Mustafa Ora Centra. On, on orders of the day, we have confirmation of nominations. First confirmation as a confirmation of the nomination of Mr. Shaka A. Chira for appointment as Auditor General for the Federation. Senator Bamidele Michael Bayami, the Senate leader, will move the motion for this confirmation. That the Senate do confirm. Consider the request of Mr. President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal, Federal Republic of Nigeria for the confirmation of the nomination of Mr. Shaka Echira for appointment as Auditor General for the Federation in accordance with the provisions of Section 86, Subsection 1 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as altered. For the Senate to do this, they will resolve, dissolve themselves. The Senate will have to go in committee of the whole. Going forward, a second confirmation is a confirmation of the nomination of the following persons for appointments as resident electoral commissioners, Rex. For Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. 
the Senate leader, Senator Kwame Delevoye, will also move this motion. And the Senate do confer, do consider the request of Mr. President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the confirmation of the nomination of the following persons for appointment as President Electoral Commissioners Rex for the Independent National Electoral Commission and in accordance with the provisions of Section 154, Subsection 1 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as altered, of course, they will resolve to Committee of the Whole. The names uh, submitted by Mr. President include there are 10 names submitted by Mr. President for this confirmation. Number one is Mr. Etekamba Umoren from Apaibon State. Mr. Isa Shaka Ehimeke, Edo State. Barista Mrs. Oluwa Toyi Babalola from Ekiti State. Barista Abubaka Ahmed Maeja, Gombe State. Mr. Shehu Waha, Paral State. Dr. Bumi Omose Inde, Lagos State. Mr. Aminu Kasimi Idris, Nasrawa State. Number eight is Mohammed Abubakar Sadiq from Major State. Number nine is Dr. Anubum Onwaha, River State. And lastly, number 10, Mr. Abubakar Fawa Tambo, Zamfara State. Uh, we have one committee report to be presented in the Floor of the Senate, presentation and consideration of a report. A report of the Ad Hoc Committee on Abuse of Firearms. This report came yesterday, but was not taken. It was reintroduced today. A report of the Ad Hoc Committee on Abuse of Firearms by officials of the Nigerian Customs Service standing in the name of Senator Father Hussey Adeniba Francis, Motion East. Motions, we have two motions listed for today. The first motion is on the need for the federal government to support citizens affected by the communal clashes between Ovunu and Ofatura in Cross River Central Senatorial District with relief packages. You can recall that this motion was also listed yesterday, but it was not taken. So it's going to be taken today, standing in the name of Senator Jonah Williams at Cross River Central. Second motion is a comprehensively a comprehensive review, comprehensively review the input and output valves values of the Nigerian mining industry in light of its central role to economy. Second motion for the day, comprehensively review the input and output values of the Nigerian mining industry in light of its central role to economic diversification, foreign exchange earnings, and social inclusion standing in the name of Senator Ositam Enugu West. Prayers are that the Senate mandate this committee on solid minerals development to do the following. Number one, investigate the immediate and remote causes of the dwindling revenue drive Drivable from solid mineral development in Nigeria. Secondly, that the Senate review the activities of the policy administrators, policy executors, and the industry players at the policy formulation, policy execution, and the downstream, midstream, and upstream operations of the solid mineral sector. The Senate has attained 
the extent and impact of illegal mining activities and the extent of complicity of both local and expatriate industry players. And lastly, the Senate review all the BPE privatization or commercialization programs of all mining and mineral resources related programs from 1999 to date. That's all for today. Uh, the remaining business here is committee meetings for the Senate. There are 10 committees that will sit for today. Uh, we have downstream and upstream petroleum, downstream petroleum sector, Senate Committee on Works, Senate Committee on Crude Oil Theft and Pipeline Vandalism, Senate Committee on Land Transport, Senate Committee on Agriculture, Colleges and Institutions, Senate Committee on Aviation, Senate Committee on Drugs and Narcotics, Senate Committee on National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, NACENI. Senate Committee on Public Accounts, and lastly, Senate Committee on Air Force. So we are going to be using this platform, this channel, to be bringing the legislature close to you. Whatever happens in National Assembly, the business that goes on here, will come here on a weekly basis. Every day the Senate will sit, and like we have promised, one every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, as the Senate is sitting, we are going to bring it to you, their activities. Thank you, and may God bless you.